Right, hello guys and welcome to today's video and today's video is going to be a video discussing mw3 and why i i feel this is going to possibly ruin the launch of modern warfare 3 but enjoy this gameplay in the background no of course mw3 multiplayer is not live don't be fooled into that this is beta footage of course but enjoy that in the background and let's get into it let's talk about what i think is going to ruin modern warfare 3 at launch and discuss a few other things a bit more information that we have since you know obviously having the campaign and stuff which I did do a playthrough if you guys want to check that out obviously it's a very very long video that i posted on the channel but you can check that out if you want to. It was an okay campaign. I'll give it a 6 or a 7 out of 10. It could have been better. Was it better than the Model Fair 2 campaign? If I'm honest, probably not. But let's get into it. So what do I think is going to be the big issue that ruins Model Warfare 3 at launch? Well, it's going to be something that's never happened in Call of Duty before, which is the ability to have weapons that are fully leveled on day one. And yes, I'm obviously talking about the Modern Warfare 2 weapons that are transferring over. Because of course, we are talking about Modern Warfare 3, which is Modern Warfare 2.5. Because it is, honestly, still in my opinion, just a big update, a big patch that's being charged for $70 or $100 if you buy the Special Edition. Which I have done, and I don't recommend people buy that edition. Like I, get, like I said, this could have easily been done in an update. But... Modern Warfare 2 weapons will be transferring over, like I said, along with, of course, all the brand new weapons we get in Modern Warfare 3. And the Modern Warfare 2 weapons, whatever level you had them at, whatever attachments you got and stuff, will all transfer over. So everyone at launch who has played Modern Warfare 2 and fully leveled their weapons will have fully leveled weapons on day one. And that's a big issue, I think. I think that's going to massively ruin the experience on day one because... Yes, there'll be people who want to get in and grind and level up all the, you know, the new weapons and actually experience the game. But then you know there are people out there who are going to want to use the TAC-56, the Vaznev, any sort of gun that's overpowered. And of course, it's going to be interesting to see how this works, because obviously the time to kill was different in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, it was 100 health, for instance, as well. It was a fast time to kill. So those weapons have probably been updated to transfer over to Modern Warfare 3 and behave a little bit differently. So we don't know which weapons are actually going to be good for Modern Warfare 2. But all we know is some people are going to mess around with them and, you know, use them and find out which ones are really overpowered. Because I don't see a reality where they make them, they put them in the game and just make them nowhere near as good as the Modern Warfare 3 weapons. Because then what's the point in even having them added into Modern Warfare 3 in the first place? So some of those weapons that transfer over, one of them is going to be pretty meta. And it could even be disgustingly overpowered. If you guys remember back in Warzone when we had the massive update where Black Ops guns got added to Warzone. They made them so disgustingly overpowered compared to... Uh, the uh, what was it? The Modern Warfare 2019 weapons. It was insane. So I do think they'll make the Modern Warfare 3 weapons better, but at the same time, that means what's what was the point? I do think that will happen, but there's always some things that get through in the cracks. You know, there's there's a lot of guns that are going to be in the game now. Like we've got 37 new weapons with Modern Warfare 3, and I believe we've got like well over 40, 50 plus guns coming into the game with Modern Warfare 2's weapons, of course. And we're talking guns from the Season Pass, uh, you know, that we've earned throughout the throughout the life cycle of Modern Warfare 2. I think it's going to cause a massive issue and ruin the experience of day one, you know, and I, I just, I don't see where they're going with this. Obviously, like we said, we knew Modern Warfare 2 was supposed to be a two-year game. They bought, they uh, went back on those plans, decided to do a Modern Warfare 3, aka 2.5, and I just don't think this is going to play out very well. I feel like day one, it's going to ruin the experience. There's going to be people who are going to use those meta weapons. People are going to work out which Modern Warfare 2 weapons are meta. And it's going to be a big headache for the game as well. There's now going to be well over 70, 80 plus weapons with more to come during seasons, of course, to update and patch and buff and nerf and get right and if it doesn't get right on launch day we're gonna have a massive issue with lots and lots of different patches which i don't know you know with call of duty they don't really patch things that quickly we might have a different year with sledgehammer this time but it's gonna be a lot of work and a lot of effort and obviously there might be things that come out on launch day that don't work very well that also need fixing so i'm not so sure this is a good thing i do think this could massively massively hurt the game in the long run but it could also be a good thing. You know, there's a nice thing of having variety. And even then, the other thing to discuss that was announced as well, uh, weapon tuning. People have spoke about this, obviously. We kind of expected this to actually be in Modern Warfare 3, but it's now confirmed. Sledgehammer have decided that due to feedback, weapon tuning will not be in the game. So I'm glad that's not a thing because now we don't have to worry about tuning weapons and that. It's it's cool. I like the idea of like being able to customize and fully, you know, change your weapon to the way you want it. 
But the weapon tuning just created too much of a headache. It was too much of an issue. It even got removed like recently in Modern Warfare 2 for your underbarrels because it caused an issue. So yeah, I'm glad that's kind of gone. It's just a simple, you put your attachments on, it does this, you know, it does X, Y, and Z, and it does, and it has this negative, it has this positive. It doesn't need to be that complicated. I mean, we went from we've went from the back in the days of using quick draw stock red dart to 18 different underbarrels to 24 different recall uh, barrels, like five or six different barrels that change whether it aims in faster or it does more damage over range. It doesn't need to be that complicated. So that's a good thing. At least I see a positive with that. That at least stops any more headaches and situations. Because again, if they took the weapon tuning from like like it was in Model Fair 2, doing that with the MW3 weapons and stuff like that, oh, it would have, have been crazy, wouldn't it? But yeah, so... I'm quite worried about this launch. Let me know down below what you think. Do you do you guys care? Do you guys even care really? Do you think that it's going to be a big issue with the Modern Warfare 2 weapons being, you know, fully leveled on day one? Obviously, I understand that they can't just, you know, reset them to zero because it kind of defeats the point of all the people who did level them up. But I just don't see this working out very well whilst those people who are playing day one are trying to level up those MW3 weapons whilst other people who might be going for gameplays or just want to be them people you know trying to use shotguns that are blatantly broken over powered you know just using extremely metal weapons against those trying to level their, their weapons up on day one let me know what you think about that down below but of course at launch we are we have confirmed you know a lot of things now for returning mw2 maps not sure how to feel about that i, I don't really like any of the mw2 maps they weren't massive i weren't massive fans of any of them to be honest some were okay but they're not like classics like a nuketown or that it's, it's not something that would have wowed me it's a bit a bit cheap if i'm if i'm being honest uh the 1666 mw2 maps of course that's okay like i said in the bay i wasn't sure they played that amazing but we'll see how that goes with the other ones that we didn't get to play one war mode map of course war is coming which was a fantastic mode and i will stand by that in uh world war ii so i'm hoping they've done a good job of this because it was done by sledgehammer it's been done by sledgehammer again of course we'll see how that plays out i hope it's very good i'll give that a shot of course three ground war maps uh one map two of the maps we played in the beta one map was really good one map wasn't so good so here or there with that the gunsmith will have weapon stats that are actually accurate like you can see how much vertical recoil something has and how much horizontal it's not just a bar that's very good obviously there's a new mastery camo grind that's gonna be good movements obviously different we know that from the beta the gear perks and system which i think is pretty good we'll see if they've moved anything around i don't know if they would have done that from the beta i don't really think they needed to i think a lot of things were put you know where they needed to be we've got map vo and we've got classic mini map and then, like i said we've got their 150 health so i'm excited to see you know the launch day but at the same time i'm a little bit worried like there's there's a few things that could go massively wrong and getting a bad launch is a bit that it can be detrimental to a call of duty's future but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video though again let me know down below what you think what do you think this is going to ruin modern warfare freeze launch do you think the mw2 weapons is going to be something that just has a massively negative effect on the game on day one let me know let me know down below but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did leave a comment leave a like subscribe subscribe notifications on i'll catch you guys in the next video goodbye